everyone, it's me, Josh, and welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're not. I make videos about life and living in Korea, and today we came to Gyeongju for another trip, and we're going to look at some areas that we've never been to. If you have any questions or anything, just let me know in the comments. This week is a midterm exam week, so I kind of have a lot of free time, and Gyeongju is only like 30 minutes away, so we decided to come here. And this one is a Kongguksu restaurant, and there's like some, what is that, bean? That's bean, right? Soybean. So this is a soybean soup place and we ordered a noodle and I guess it's like a donut type sweet one as well and anyway I'll show you what it looks like later. So this one is the hot hot one and that's how look what's inside. That's a donut. That's actually a soft donut in here. So we're gonna see what that tastes like. My first time. Okay, we're gonna give it a taste. First try. Hmm. It has the texture of a donut if you could imagine or not, but it's not sweet. No. It's not sweet. It tastes like the konguksu soft broth. Tastes good. I was expecting something a little bit different. Maybe I need to put that sugar in there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put the sugar in here. That's, this is like brown sugar. So I don't know how to, much to put in, but put in a bit. I like brown sugar better than regular sugar. Okay. So I'll mix it a little bit and now it definitely is gonna be sweet. I've never had a sweet soup. It's a little better sweet. It's still not that sweet. I think I need more sugar. This is the second dish that we've ordered, which is kongguksu. So we're gonna mix this and see how this one tastes. I, I can already tell it's gonna look good. I mean, it's gonna taste good because it looks good. <laughs> that broth looks really thick. I like it when it's the broth is thick like that. This one is really good. The noodles, you can just bite right through. I did add salt because I like mine salty. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this. I also like this salt. It's not like normal salt. It tastes like salt, but it looks kind of like it's shredded almost. And it's, I don't know, it still tastes like salt, but I like it better. It's such a beautiful day, and people seem really happy. I love the setting. It's so peaceful. I really love Gyeongju. This is the famous bridge that goes across here and
apparently it looks really beautiful at night. So I'll definitely come back and film this at night sometime. I'm not sure if it'll be today. It's only like noon and I don't know if I'll stay around all day, but uh, it looks pretty in the daytime too. And at night it's lit up. Right down here there's like a little walking bridge with stones that you can walk across. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Fairly long actually. And then across it looks like there's some cafe or something. And then the uh, traditional look all throughout. It's a really cool place. Wow, these birds are flying all around, great production value. Oh, they're all standing on top of the bridge. That's cool. There's another one over here. Nice reflection. He's trying to get out of the out of the water. I like how they just walk casually. Closer look at the bridge. Very pretty building. Let's go through it. Wow, look at this place. Wow, this is a really cool bridge. You can go upstairs. I'll go upstairs in a minute. Oh, look at this floor tile. The floor is actually really cool too. this bridge there are stairs to go upstairs so now we're gonna go up and these are super steep it's almost like a ladder I'm gonna make sure I don't fall while I'm filming I'm trying to show you my steps to give you an idea how vertical this is let's see it's kind of dark Bet these windows open. Oh, well, I did not expect this. It smells like wood, like a really nice sauna type smell. I guess this is a map. This must be an ancient map or something. It's pretty cool. And we've got some artifacts. Oh, those were the tiles we saw in the beginning. And this looks like wood. Wooden rod for sediment erosion prevention. Probably never expected to end up here. Oh, what is this? That's interesting. 
This is miniature of wooden structures from the Waljonggyo Wal Bridge. Huh. And I guess you can just chill out here. Oh, it seems like there's a projector up here, but not on at the moment. And then on this side, we just go back down the other side. Here you can see it's super steep. Okay. I'll try not to fall. It's like we're down. Mind your head. I'm not that tall, but I'm almost hitting it. And then we come out here. You can see more traditional buildings. We're gonna go look over there. People are dressed up in traditional clothing. It's always fun to see. I've never done that myself, but it seems like people who do that have a lot of fun. Um, so maybe someday. Wow, I love this happy face on this little, I guess, tour bus. And I'm gonna be part of their memory and likewise. giant cat. It's hard to tell, but it looks really big. And it looks like a gamnamu. And we're right under a ginkgo tree. Look at all those ginkgos up there. You do not want to step on those because they smell horrible. Uh, I think it's a inhang. Inhang namu. I believe. I could be wrong. There's one bird sitting on the very top, like he owns this place. Maybe he does. Maybe he's an outcast because all of his friends seem to be way over there. And then he got kicked out, so he's up here all by himself. We're going to have a look at this map and see what's around. That's an interesting map. There's a lot more stuff here that's probably not on the map. It might be better to just walk around. We got a fast one. We got a fast one. He's running across. There's so much nature here right next to that, all that other traditional stuff, which is really cool. And right now we're gonna go up here to Sok Bingo. Refrigerator, traditional, traditional refrigerator. Right now there's nobody here, but it seems like there's a tour group just on the other side. This might be like one of the largest open park spots that I've seen in all of Korea. And it's unlike other parks, it's really pretty. Not to say that other parks are not, but yeah, it's really cool. Feels like a movie for sure. This is a steep hill. A couple of people are walking down. A lot of tourists here. This feels so much like a like a fantasy story. Like this little walking path up here, overlooking all of this. Such an amazing place. This just seems like it's right out of the uh, the game Fable, old Xbox game that I used to play. I was always good. You could.
could be, you could choose between good or bad, and that was always good. Let me know if you played Fable. Those ducks just flew in and landed, and it was awesome. It was epic sound. I'm trying to catch, catch their feet. Their feet are busy. But you can kind of see. Oh, one's flying. Land, land. Yes. I guess he is getting away from this one. Maybe they got into a fight or something. This one's trying to catch up with him or her. And this one keeps flying away. Like, leave me alone. It seems like they all have their own little friends. Like these two kind of stay together. Now nah, they're leaving each other, I guess. Oh, he's approaching. Let's see if he scares these guys away too. Then we'll know if people don't like him. Well, not people, ducks. Little duck drama. There are a lot of hot places, especially in the summertime, but uh, now we're gonna go to a really cool place. And this is a stone refrigerator, freezer and they used to cut stones in the winter time and store them in here to be used in the spring or summer. So I guess it, yeah, ice, ice stones that could be used in the spring or summer, so. You can't go in, but, no, no but uh, I'm filming. So this is what it looks like. Oh, I can't believe the the, um, the ice could last until the summer and spring here. Ice blocks. These are actually pretty steep. They might all look similar, but they're not. And walking on this whole ridge line is really fun. I could honestly probably sit here for hours, but I don't think I ever would. But I can imagine sitting here for hours. You can see this is pretty steep here. like straight down. If you're skiing it'd probably be like a not even a double black diamond but like a, a cliff jump. Just over here behind us is like a archaeology archaeological site. I don't know if I said that archaeological. Archaeological. Anyway, uh, they're still finding stuff so that's all over here behind us. quite unusual on this forest hike there's just a single chair here sitting here 
And if you can look around, there's like nothing else. That's pretty odd and cool and interesting. This looks really pretty here and I believe this stream will go all the way to the bridge. That's a bike path or walking path. This is the forest that we just walked through. And now we're gonna go, we're gonna go down, down and out. It probably all looks the same on the video, but I just can't capture how nice this is in real life and how relaxing and amazing it is. We had to buy a ticket to go into this place. It was Samchan on each, and there's two of us. It makes me think we definitely should have came at night, even the pictures at night. And we knew it's supposed to be good at night, but it's daytime, it's like two o'clock. So we're just gonna go in and see how it looks, even though it's daytime. This is right through the entrance. And we have been walking for a long time. Actually, we just went hiking, basically. Unexpected hike. And now we're gonna grab something to drink from this uh, vending machine. <laughs> okay, now we're approaching the first item here. By the way, none of the grass can be walked on. So everywhere you go, it says, keep off the grass. water are those like little miniature lily pads or something peaceful yeah now we're going to the second one I'm guessing it's similar, but it looks like there's something in the center of this one. And this is kind of cool that this grass is actually raised. So you can see there's like um, a little barrier, like a little retaining wall. And we're walking kind of like knee deep through the grass. So that's kind of interesting. So here's a replica of what it used to look like. I'll go around on this side, get a better view. Oh wow, can't even see in this side. <laughs> I won't get a good view from this side. Maybe I'll go around this side. Okay, here I can get a better view. So I guess that's what this used to look like. Oh, okay, so it's just like one, two, and three. Like that point, this point, and that point maybe? What's, is what it seems like.
one is uh, apparently the oldest ancient observatory used to track the stars, um, which is pretty amazing. looking at the sky and it seems like someone lost their kite up there. That is definitely a kite. It looks like it's connected though. It looks so far away but there's no way. There's no way someone is holding on to that. But I have no idea how it's just staying up there. Can we find it? Oh, there it is. That is crazy. That is really crazy. I found the kite flyer. I found the guy flying the kite. That huge thing he's holding is this train. And it is, where is that? It's so far away that it's hard to see. Can't even find it. Where is that? Wow. There it is. Wow, I can't believe he's flying a kite all the way over there. He did look at me. He knew that I was filming too. It's always a little embarrassing. But yeah, look at that. That's way, you can't even see it. And he's flying it all the way from here. That's amazing. This is definitely one of the prettiest Starbucks in Korea, possibly in the world. Uh, I have never been there yet, because whenever I come to a place like this, I don't really like going to Starbucks. But I am interested in this one, because it looks really great. All that detail, the color, it's really nice. This is also the nicest Paul Bassett that I've ever seen. They even have a drive through Look at that Paul Bassett. What place? We saw this place online and uh, we just kind of came across it. So we're gonna go in and uh, get some bagels. A really cool looking place. Unexpected bagel shop. It's right next to Paul Bassett. Bagel Bagler. I like that name. It's so bright today, but yeah, it looks really good like this. But look at look at those windows.
Thank you. 